Namaste, everybody. My name is Heather Thrills. This is Nancy Thrills, my assistant for the day. We're going to teach you the proper way to downward dog. This will support your at home practice as well as studio practice. So let's get into it. First thing we're going to do is roll our bodies out into that full plank position. So we got wrists and shoulder racked, feet are separated a little bit wider than the hips. That way we got a nice, stable, firm foundation. We bend at the knees. Scoop the hips up and back and let the head fall through the biceps. Nicely done. So we got the fingertips facing forwards. We wanna slightly rotate so the thumbs come more forwards and the fingertips come out more out towards the sides. Then we're gonna separate the feet a little bit wider. That way we create a nice stable base and bend through the knees just a little bit, Nancy. Yeah, then lift the hips up a bit further and then try to straighten. As the teacher, you can make an adjustment by pressing on the small of the back to lift up and then we slide down the spine to accentuate that length, letting the last thing be the neck. From here, we're gonna let her know, we're gonna let you go, so you got this on your own core nice and tight. And then notice if there's any other adjustments that you can make for your student with a verbal cue. Looks amazing, Nancy. You can bend your knees and float it down to the floor. Thank you so much for joining us for this simple yoga tip. Namaste. Namaste everyone. Thank you so much for tuning into my channel. Please like, subscribe, and comment on all these videos. That way I can provide you with what you want. Let me know what you'd like to see in the comments. I can't wait to hear from you. Let's get stretchy.